What if the key to our future is hidden in the past? I've spent countless hours analyzing historical documents to show you how ancient philosophies, especially Cicero's, shape our today. Why is studying history so crucial? Join me as we uncover the answers together. Now, imagine living in a world filled with chaos and confusion, much like the late Roman Republic that Cicero knew so well. This was a time when Rome was teetering on the edge of collapse, with politicians scheming and the public disillusioned. Cicero, amidst this turmoil, sought to find rational solutions to his society's problems. But what really made him stand out? Cicero was not just any politician or philosopher, he was a man who deeply believed in the power of words and the strength of ideas. His thoughts and writings were not merely reflections of his times but also blueprints for good governance and ethical leadership. Through his speeches and texts, he laid down the foundations that would influence Western legal and political systems for centuries to come. For instance, his defense of the Republic against the tyranny of figures like Catiline has taught us the value of vigilance and the importance of moral integrity in public office. This backdrop of political strife and Cicero's response to it raises a critical question, how much does the stability of a society depend on the integrity and wisdom of its leaders? Cicero's time shows us vividly how the quality of leadership can make or break a nation. Isn't it similar to today's global political scene where leadership decisions have far-reaching impacts on national and global stability? Pause here and think, how does understanding such historical parallels help us in today's world? Let's dig a bit deeper. Cicero once said, a room without books is like a body without a soul. Think about that for a moment. Why would he compare books to a soul? Because, to Cicero, knowledge wasn't just power, it was the very essence of being human. This idea still resonates with us, doesn't it? Just like eating well keeps our body healthy, feeding our minds with knowledge keeps our spirit alive and thriving. But here's a twist, Cicero's thoughts on ethics and governance still echo in today's corridors of power. Take, for example, his belief in the importance of moral integrity for politicians. Isn't this something we desperately need in today's political landscape, where integrity often seems in short supply? Cicero's advocacy for justice and the rule of law reminds us that without these, society suffers. And there's more to his teachings. Cicero was also a staunch believer in personal development. He argued that every person should strive to improve themselves, enhancing their mind and character. This is a timeless lesson, urging us all to keep growing and learning, no matter our age or status. Think about it, how often do we set aside time to better ourselves, to learn something new, or to tackle challenges that scare us? Now, consider this, if we ignore the lessons from figures like Cicero, are we not missing crucial insights on how to lead better lives and build stronger communities? By looking back, we gain the wisdom to move forward more wisely. How can we apply Cicero's lessons to solve today's problems? What changes might we see in our lives if we embraced his call for continual learning and ethical living? All right, let's think about this, what if the ideas of a thinker from over 2000 years ago could predict the future? That might sound like a stretch, but with Cicero, it's not as far-fetched as it seems. His insights into human nature and governance are proving incredibly relevant as we tackle modern societal issues. For instance, Cicero's warnings about the dangers of political corruption and the collapse of democratic institutions are topics that dominate today's news cycles. Could his thoughts help us navigate these turbulent times? Let's consider how these ancient lessons apply right now. Many governments and organizations use historical data to shape policies. Look at how lessons from past economic downturns are used to manage current financial crises. Cicero's emphasis on ethical leadership and moral governance echoes in these strategies. By studying his works, 
policymakers can draw on his wisdom to address today's ethical dilemmas and leadership challenges. And here's another crucial point, Cicero taught us about the importance of learning from our mistakes. History is littered with examples of errors that we can all learn from. Remember the financial crash of 2008. It showed us, much like Cicero's time, how greed and poor governance could lead to disaster. By reflecting on such events through Cicero's philosophies, we might prevent similar mistakes in the future. But why is it really important to study history? Because, as Cicero said, not knowing history keeps us childish. Understanding our past roots us more deeply in the present and prepares us for the future. It helps us develop a clearer identity and a stronger society. Think about it, knowing where we came from shapes where we're going. Finally, let's wrap this up and think about what we've uncovered. Cicero's life and teachings offer a treasure trove of insights that still resonate today. By embracing his wisdom, we not only honor a great thinker but also equip ourselves to tackle modern challenges more effectively. So, I urge you to dive into history. Explore Cicero's writings. Discuss these ideas with friends or classmates. And maybe, just maybe, we'll find the keys to a better future in the wisdom of the past. By the way, if you've ever wondered whether happiness is something that just happens or if we need to actively work for it, you might find our next video intriguing. It's titled Can You Truly Be Happy Without Trying? And dives into this question, exploring if true contentment requires effort or if it can emerge on its own. Check it out to uncover a different perspective on what it really takes to feel happy. In our journey today, we've connected ancient philosophies with today's world, showing that the key to our future really might be hidden in our past. What do you think Cicero would say about our world today?